characters, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I am currently in my living room, and as you can see, I'm wearing what looks like a safety vest, but it's not. I am wearing a high-vis t-shirt, and I have my hair pulled up. As you can see, there's no hair sticking out the back of my neck, and I am building a duct tape dummy or duct tape mannequin. And I'm going to hand my camera off to the wife so she can walk around and we'll take progressive videos so I can explain what's going on and the best way to do this. All right. Thank you. All right. So what you want to do is have the person you're making a mannequin of bring in old t-shirt. Example A. And one they don't mind destroying because you are going to be cutting it up. And then what you do is get a roll of duct tape. The longer the better. Which I'm not sure if that's enough, but we'll find out. What I we wanted to have them do is stand horizontal, feet flat on the ground, hold their arms out at a basically a 45 degree angle. What, 90, 45? This way you can get the size of their arms and their underarm. What you want to do is start with their arms, wrap the arms, but not so tight that it cuts off circulation, like mine can actually do if I flex a little bit, which is fine. Then you take and go around the chest to the back and back around to the chest, then over the shoulders. And you want to go for like right up against the collar like here one direction like front to back and then on the next um, layer go from back to front this way it pulls the fabric this way and then back this way so it's pretty much even and you work in going clockwise and counterclockwise until you are completely done Thank you. I'm getting to bondage my husband yeah, technically. It's not too bright with the background. Mm, there's a little bit of extra light, so mm. go that way. That'll work. All right, when you're doing this, you want to make sure the person can breathe because it can be very constricting. So if they can be able to take a deep breath in and then breathe out, you're good. Now, what you want to do is once you've gotten the arms done and around the torso, work your way down until you get to, well, their hips or where it needs to be. I wanted this little bit extra because I can fold this over and take the bottom once I fill it. And as you can see, it is very restricting. And like, literally, I can't put my arms any farther down than this. And then the next step is you get a pair of scissors. And I would recommend going up the back. This way you aren't cutting toward the person's face. You have to cut it, them out of it. Okay. All right. And basically you go right up their spine towards the top of the head or the other way around. And it pulls apart. And then just, oh, the arms might be a little bit too tight. There you go. Did I get the arm too tight? Yeah, a little bit. So, what do we do? Alright, we're going to have to stop that. Alright, and then when you're done, she actually had to split it up to my shoulders. Yeah. So up to a little right around in here on my arms. You can see the mark. I did not mean to get it that. That's tight. all right. But yeah, split it all the way up to my shoulders. This way, it got past the not like part I'm of used muscle. to, you know, duct tape. So I can person. pull my arm out. <clears throat> and then you have a duct tape form of the person. And what you do is you take and uh, 
and get this in some better light on the floor. What you do is you basically put these two pieces back together and then uh, basically duct tape the inside and outside for the back and the arms and then you stuff it full of batting or newspaper or whatever you want that will actually fill it and expand it out. And you, if you take and tape up the bottom when you're done with that, you want it to where it's fully expanded. Once that's done, then you can tape up the bottom, the top, the arms, and this way if you need it later on, and you haven't gained any or lost any weight, or you're roughly the same size, you can use the same one. This is how a lot of cosplayers do it. I was fortunate enough to be married, and so my wife got to duct tape me up. But that's how you do it. You just have to, when you're done with this, make sure like this edge here and this edge here line up pretty precisely. You don't want any overlap. And then just put the piece of duct tape on there and putting it back together. And then once it's stuffed, you can go through and if you want, like cover up little areas like this. But you don't have to. And this makes the second one I've made of these, so I kind of know what I'm doing.